order we are going to discuss about taxonomy the branch of botany that deals with the identification nomenclature and classification of plants is taxonomy identification nomenclature classification is done in different ways many people are linked many scientists are linked with this alpha taxonomy omega taxonomy different types of identifications identification is done directly with the help of herbaria and with the help of indirectly with the help of flora herbaria are special sheets where plants are attached and various information about the plants is written on those papers and preserved in plesher herbaria international herbarium is located at royal botanical garden q england national herbarium is located at indian botanical gardens calcutta bsi botanical survey of india identification is done with the help of these nowadays computer punch card keys are widely used then after the identif correct identification is the most important step in the classification and other aspects of plants then we discuss about nomenclature naming a plant then classification how a plant is placed at a particular place in the classification system then after that we discuss what is omega taxonomy what is alpha taxonomy then bentham and hooker system of classification then we discuss four families malvesi fabesi solanesi and liliesi so this is the introduction to taxonomy and taxonomy term was coined by ap de candolle father of taxonomy linnaeus very popularly called father of taxonomy because he popularized the concept of binomial nomenclature and he wrote two very popular books species plantarum and system and nature in species plantarum he explained about the nomenclature of plants and other things in species system and nature he explained about the animals now we discuss some important questions in taxonomy some 80 questions something like that and we explain when the questions will come we'll explain the concept also first question match the following classification of plants into genus classification of plant into 50 groups classification of plants on the basis of dietic properties classification of plants into herbs shrubs and trees list 2 is shushruta theophrastus parashara charaka epidicandol answer is 2 classification of plants into genus is done by parashara why because parashara father of indian botany he was very popularly regarded as father of indian botany he wrote two popular books one is krishi parasharam which is supposed to be the oldest book on agriculture and vriksha ayurveda vriksha ayurveda and krishi parash this is the oldest book on agriculture which has information about weeds vriksha ayurvedam has importance about medicinal plants and also internal external characters of plants he was the first scientist to propose the concept of genus genus corresponding to nowadays families leguminaceae brassicaceae and cucurbitaceae these are the three families to which the concept of genus are easily explainable so genus was given by parashara father of indian botany who wrote two popular books krishi parashram and vriksha ayurvedam next classification of plants into 50 groups classification of plants into 50 groups is done by charaka and other people classification of plants based on dietic properties is done by classification of plants into 50 groups is done by charaka so b is 4 c classification of plants on the basis of dietic properties is done by shushruta on the basis of dietic properties and their ecological relationships plants are classified into different categories by shushruta classification of plants into herbs and shrubs and trees is done by theophrastus it is done by theophrastus so answer is 3412 3412 d is not 1 d is 2 next <coughs> in all the members of malvesi carpels of gynoecium are fused throughout their length carpels of gynoecium fused throughout their length number of ovules is equal to the number of locules in the ovary is wrong carpels of gynoecium are fused throughout their length is wrong because ovaries and styles are fused here stigmas are free it is a wrong concept um, carpels of gynoecium are fused throughout the length is wrong why because in malvesi ovary contain carpels carpels means ovary style and stigma ovaries and styles are fused but stigmas are free number of ovules is equal to the number of locules is also wrong 
then number of carpels of gynesium is equal to the number of locules in the ovary. Number of carpels in the gynesium is equal to the number of locules in the ovary is correct because in hibiscus and gossypium and many plants, pentacarpillary pentalocular condition is present that means the number of carpels is exactly equal to the number of locules. Number of stigmatic lobes is always equal to the number of carpels, this is also wrong. Why? Because number of stigmatic lobes is always equal to the number of carpels in the case of hibiscus. In hibiscus, the stigmatic lobes are 5 and carpels are 5. But there are some plants <coughs> where the number of stigmas is double to the number of carpels, for example, pavonia. There is a plant where the number of carpels is double to the number of or this number of stigmas is double to the number of carpels it is found in pavonia so these are all in this the only correct option is number of carpels of gynesium is equal to the number of locules in the ovary so option 3 is the correct answer